Hey, hello and welcome once again. This is the Reflex. Uh, thanks for watching. If this is your first time visiting, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification icon below for you to stay updated about my latest video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to export your image sharply for social media and for web. So do you find it difficult sometimes that whenever you post your picture, your picture loses quality and sometimes uh, it got it gets as in in short it lost quality so the issue is that you are saving in the wrong way so here's the best way to save picture for web and uh, for social media so all you need to do right now is just to export them as safe for web so if you want to learn how i did this picture the editing the video is also in the link in the description you can actually watch them there how i brought in this fabric overlay and i changed the color how I work on this background, the link is also available for you guys to watch. So let's jump uh, into action with no further ado. So all you need to do is just to go for your file, under file, go to your exports. Don't go to quick export as PNG, no, don't go to export as, go to save for web legacy. So wait for it to load. So make sure it's on JPEG, make sure it's on I, call up embed color profile make sure it's checked so all the settings doesn't matter for this doesn't matter for you make sure it's on xrgb also the color is on srgb also so in the quality uh, i usually use this by quick uh, smoother but you can use sharper if you want the picture to be a little bit sharper if you want the picture to add a little bit of texture to it so you can use by cubic sharper so once you're done with that all you just need to do is just to click on save so automatically it's going to show you how to save it and make sure you click on uh, image only so once you're just done with that you just have to click on save so automatically it's going to save your picture for you so you have high chance of retaining your picture quality whenever you're able to post it on your web or your social media page so i hope this helps in a way or two so thanks for watching guys see you guys on my next tutorial